Do you want to find out how we built this smart mirror and made it PoE powered? Keep on watching this video to find out how. Welcome back everyone. Thanks for coming back to watch another video with us. If you're new to the channel, my name is Maria and I'm part of the PoE Texas team. Normally I make demo videos showing how to use our PoE equipment and which devices they work with. However, today's video is going to be a little different. My coworker Jeremy and I teamed up to build a PoE powered smart mirror using a Raspberry Pi 3B+. This is going to be a two-part video series, so be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on that way you don't miss the final product. That's enough introduction though, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go ahead and talk about the list of parts that we used. To build the frame, we used standard wooden planks, but you can also use hobby board. And of course, we had the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the case and mounting adhesives. We also used some LED light strips to illuminate the frame and upcycled a spare laptop screen we had here in the office. On the software side of things, we did need a micro SD card and decided on an open source platform known as Magic Mirror, but we'll go over this in more detail in part two. A crucial step to block out any extra light the screen might give off is to add black foam to any negative space. This definitely completes that magical effect. And of course, be sure to grab a two-way mirror. There are plenty of sizes available online, so just check to make sure which one fits your specs. To bring PoE into the mix, we're using the PoE Texas GAF Pi Hat. This is an onboard accessory for the Raspberry Pi, which allows you to power the board with power over ethernet. If you want to learn more about this specific pie hat, be sure to check out one of our previous videos. We also added two heat sinks to the pie board. And since it's all PoE powered, you do need Cat5e cable, a PoE injector, and of course, your GAF pie hat. What you're seeing Jeremy do is outlining the part of the laptop screen we're trying to hide. This way he can cut the black foam to be the exact size and hide any extra light. and it worked as a perfect fit. After we cut the black foam, we were able to secure the mirror by attaching the screen to these rods. You can see that we also added zip ties as an extra measure. This is what the back of our mirror looks like before any of the controllers, our pie, or LED lights are installed. And here's the front. You can see that even without the screen turned on, it looks like a real mirror. Remember to stay tuned to our channel for part two. In the next video, we'll go over the actual smart mirror transformation. This includes all the controller connections you're seeing, the software to program the mirror, adding the lights, and the actual moment of truth. Will it be a PoE powered smart mirror? We look forward to showing you all the final result. Thank you so much for watching everyone. That does it for part one of the PoE powered smart mirror video project. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. And be sure to hit that bell icon, that way you can be notified every time we upload. Interested in other types of videos instead, or want to see us do a specific project? Just leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our other channels too. We post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and now Amazon. See y'all next time.